Okay, just for myself, I'm going to do the rest of these cards. I just got reported on my live for no reason. Like I said in one of my readings recently, I will not be eating a side dish of reason anymore. So because of that, I am here doing an alignment, my own personal reading for myself. We have Eight of Cups. I talked about how people don't want to look in the mirror. And I'm very willing to look in the mirror because I love looking at myself. That's a lot of why people are jealous of me because I love looking at myself. It's not hard. I look at my, myself, excuse me, all day, every day. Even when I'm in a proverbial mirror, I'm looking at myself. Even when I'm talking to people who are not my mirrors, I'm looking at myself. I'm always looking at myself and I'm always approving of myself because I choose to be an honest individual. Living a life honestly guides me through the waters, through the storms, through the rough seas. And that cause leads to the effect of men dying in three days of putrid wounds. Now I'm channeling the energy of the turbulent feminist, the woman who loves that, the trigger words that TikTok loves that promotes such wellness in the world versus a tone like mine and a frequency like mine that triggers people into self-reflection. See how I did that there with looking at myself in the mirror and bringing it all back to you? Because I tie everything in together. I'm a weaver. I'm a quilter. I am the Black Widow. The Black Widow has been described as a woman who sucks the life from men altering her personality to eat them and leave them dry. Well, there's not much to suck from men these days. They're pretty fucking dry. It is the Sonoran Desert out here with these men. Three of Wands and the Sonoran Desert of my card. This card is my Kanye card. A man whose well is clearly fucking dry. That's where I step into the lore of the world. Fully prepared and fully well to do my man well. By filling his well, filling the world with my love. Now, there are many ways that I had been taught to fill with love, very grapey ways, if you catch my drift, not the wine kind. <laughs> and the ways in which I fill wells now is by shining, shining offensively, shining defensively, shining brighter than Steph Curry, Michael Jordan, and Kobe. Oh, and LeBron combined. <laughs> How are you doing, LeBron? Old man, you. I'll keep it at that. See, by acknowledging my nature, there is no offense or defense that I can't handle. I am an element so bright, faster than the speed of light, that no element known to man at this time can break down. I am meant to be an anomaly, an anomaly that doesn't reverb to you the lie of Eze that your mom told you you were. That goes for the entire masculine, you see, because that's the problem 
with femininity. Femininity gaslights masculinity. So femininity is out here perpetrating its own projection because what femininity sees in the mirror is you, G, L, Y. You ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Yeah, yeah, you ugly. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Lizzie, Lizzie, big loser. Lizzie, Lizzie, big loser. Remember that ugly bitch in Lizzie McGuire? You don't. <laughs> Why don't you remember her? Because she was so obsessed with the loving image she was projecting onto Ethan Kraft that Ethan chose up. And he chose the big loser. That's why I like looking in the mirror. Because I once was the big loser. No one likes to hear the big loser story from the big loser. Because it's too real, it's too honest, it's too pure, it's too light. With a heart as, a, as light as a feather, I can honestly say that I once wore the cloak of the big loser very uncomfortably because it wasn't my cloak to wear. Which is why you see me today dressing the way I dress, talking the way I do proudly wearing the robes of divinity as I strip those. I don't strip for. The only person, the only man I strip for is my man. Yet I strip those through the self-reflection that I project onto the world that is the well of my man, God. Femininity always likes to, and I'm talking about, I'm not even gonna say toxic or not, figure it out your fucking self. Femininity always likes to adjust the narrative in its favor by bringing up rings. It's always about a ring. Oh, I don't see a ring on your finger. I don't do Why does that matter? Oh, because there's power in duality. So the power in my duality is that I, goddess to God, and God, God to goddess, am the most powerful. Now what? Now, what are you going to do when the bitch that fills God's well is me? What are you going to do? What are you going to say? You're not more devoted than me. You're not more luscious than me. You're not more sex -y than me. You're not more than me in any way. So what the fuck are you going to say? There's a beautiful viral sound going around. where the beautiful lady says, I will gladly sit at the table with you while you talk shit about me. Because it's when I'm at that table and I'm at in your face that the true self-reflection can be defaced. 